Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video we are doing a podcast. For those of you that are new to my channel, my podcast is something that I put out, well I try and put it out weekly, it's been semi-irregular of late due to how busy the business has been. But it's for the people who don't necessarily have the time to kind of watch content, you know, you can just plug in and listen, maybe on your way to work or or just don't want to sit down and watch a YouTube video, that's perfectly fine. Now, it was posed to me the other day, there was a gentleman who said, I'm pretty sure big dealers will hedge their stock when for if there is a smackdown in price. But how do small dealers do it? So I'm going to explain to you how I get around a beatdown in stock. Now, my stock is actually split up into several key components for me. And the reason I do it is because different stock has different characteristics. So for example, I've got your bullion gold, I've got your specialty gold, I've got my reserve gold, I've got platinum, I've got silver, I've got currency silver, I've got silver bars, I've got my silver reserve, I've got silver bullion coins, and I've got specialty silver. And then I've got some other bits of stock that is kind of less reliant on the price, such as um, I, I have a batch of silver notes that I bought in. I ping these off semi-regularly. And I've also got some North Korean coins that I sell once in a blue moon when the, the opportunity arises. There are lots of different things that I have going on that are preparing me in case gold and silver loses say five or ten percent now what you'll see in front of you is some stuff that the price isn't really affected by the smackdown so the the pamp bar it's a 20 gram pamp bar i actually received it this morning but it highlights perfectly what i'm trying to get across the two ounce cooker bar it's a it's a rare cooker bar and the price is it's not so reliant upon the spot price and the 2017 uh 50 year anniversary Krugerrand, you know, again, it's not too reliant on the spot price. Now, for a smaller dealer, you've got cash flow. You've got money going in and money going out. It's the same as any business. But your stock levels, the price depends on the overall characteristics of where spot is in that moment in time. Now, I might lose wealth in a month, but as long as I can pay my bills, it's fine and I'll tell you why because if I can cover my bills and my wealth goes down in terms of the spot price there's only a section of my stock level that goes down in price the stuff that I told you about the Kruger Round and the Kook and the Pamp Bar these are the type of things that it doesn't really matter so much when spot price goes up they don't really go up like their price is less connected to the reality of spot price when spot price goes down they tend to hold their price so that's completely fine so what a small dealer like myself does is they load their their stock level with stock that is resilient towards spot price movement and that's fine and you'll be saying well that's okay sean but how do you protect yourself against your bullion coins well that's very simple you know i just need to stay in the game long enough to pay my bills you know I don't think there's ever been a month since I've traded that I've not paid my bills. It's been close some months, you know, some months I've really struggled. But on average, I'm actually way up because the good months more than cover it. And it, there's never been a downfall. So in the good months, what I do is I'll try and buy good stock. I won't typically add to my bullion stock, you know, because when I come to sell, I, I sell, I just ping things off, you know. I don't need to sell all in one go. If I want to sell all in one go, the right stock to hold would be bullion coins or bullion bars. But that's not the business I'm in. You know, I just need to stay in business long enough for the spot price to correct itself, either by going up or by repositioning what I buy. So one of the most important things I have at my disposal is my credit lines. However, I've been working towards my cash, my cash balance, you know. It's very important to have a fair amount of liquidity for when the spot price crashes. 
you find out who the good dealers are and who the wannabes are when spot price goes against you. Now, when spot price goes up, everyone's a winner. Everyone makes money, you know, and that's what you kind of want, but it can't go up forever. When the prices are choppy, you know, again, the, the better people make good money, the less good people, they, they do okay, you know, but it's when spot price goes down. So all you have to do as a small dealer to, to protect yourself is make sure that you don't have too much that's price sensitive towards uh, like the bullion side of things. You have to make sure your credit line is good enough to dig yourself out of a hole. You've got to make sure that your cash is high enough to buy down. All you have to do is buy yourself time to re-roll the dice. So in terms of how much I've lost in this smackdown, the reality is I haven't really lost anything. You know, I you you make a loss when you sell it. For me, I'm just repositioned. It's not a problem. You know, most of the stuff I get in, I get in a lot. And the one-off pieces I get in are not so critical when it terms when the spot price is involved. So yeah, that's how a small dealer gets around it. You know, I don't really need to hedge in terms of financial instruments because I can hedge in terms of products I sell. You know, and I, I don't really need to worry about um, spot price going up and down because I get the stuff in so often that it just rebalances up and down. So I will never make huge losses, but I'll never make huge gains. You know, I'm all about turnover. If I turn over a lot, I make a lot of money. But in terms of how much I make if the spot price goes up or down it's not as much as you'd think you know if the spot price goes up a few percent i'm making a bit extra but the real value is me for me is in turning over the coins rather than holding on for the spot price to go up so yeah i hope that's been informative it is a bit of a short one today um there's not really much more i wish to kind of add to that you know it's i think i've i've covered the necessarily parts of it i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's been insightful um, actually one thing I will add um, a, a proper dealer doesn't really they don't really worry about spot so they've seen it before you know if, if spot was to drop say it started to stabilize by the way so I think it's up at 1440 at the moment or around that market it dropped about 14 and 5 I think I wasn't worried you know, and the reason I'm not worried is because I'm sitting on a massive cash pile and I can just rebuy and I can just trade in and out to rebalance my position on, on the bullion side of things. So that certainly wasn't a problem. But yeah, I think I've, I've covered it all now. Um, I hope you have a great day and take care, guys. Bye.